I ain't even get to start. I ain't even get to, it's another one. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, let's start. <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Make with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly, let's make Caesar salad dressing three ways. Let's get started. So this was not the original intent of this video, I actually wanted to make some stuffed shells, you'll see that later on in the video, I'm going to leave in all the original footage, I just had to rename it because y'all know I don't put my name on anything I don't like, okay, I tried it, I didn't like it, we're going to move on and uh, redo the intro part, so let's get started. All right, y'all, the original recipe was to stuff these shells. So this is what I'm showing you right now. And I'm also gonna show you how I seasoned up the papaya, although it was too firm to actually use or recommend to you guys. But let's get into the actual recipe of how you could season a more ripe papaya. All right, y'all, so we're gonna season our papaya with some Old Bay, some garlic powder, some kelp granules to give it like a sea type of taste. It's supposed to be salmon. Y'all know I don't do anything without Jane crazy. Okay, so we're just gonna go around. That's also my salt uh, for this marinade as well. So I'm not gonna add any salt because Jane's crazy has the salt in it. So does the Obey. And last but not least, some time. Cause I just been putting time in everything cause I like it. So I'm gonna mix that all together. We're gonna let that marinate for at least 30 minutes before we air fry it. Now y'all, honestly, y'all already know that Caesar dressing is not vegan. And I used to love, see, I still love Caesar dressing because I have had it vegan before. So I was like, ooh, I wanna make my own for this Caesar salad instead of like, I don't even know if it's in stores actually. So I think we had to make it on our own. But anyway, when I was looking up uh, recipes to make homemade vegan Caesar salad, it was a lot. I just saw three different ways. I was like, oh, I want to try them all. Of course, there's probably even more. I'm just saying what I saw. I saw tahini as a base. I saw mayo as a base. And I saw cashews as a base. So I said, you know what? Let's do them all. Okay. So we're going to do all three versions. And then we'll pick which one we want the best. Or we might, might like all of them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's get started on our recipes for three different Caesar dressings. Look at me experiment or whatever alrighty guys let's get into the first Caesar salad dressing I'm using tahini this is just ground up sesame seeds I'm taking one fourth of a cup next up we're gonna use about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard followed by two to three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice I only had to use a fourth of this lemon because it was super ripe so very juicy as you can see next up we're going to do about one to two tablespoons of garlic cloves um, and then we're going to do some capers. Now, y'all, I don't know why I was so nervous to put the actual caper in here, but just do two tablespoons of capers. I'm using the juice on this first one, but I, I went in on the next ones. Okay. Now we're going to season it up with just some salt and some pepper. Just shake until your ancestors tell you to stop. Y'all already know the drill. After this, I'm going to use about one to two tablespoons of oil. And also to thin this Caesar dressing out, I'm going to use about one or two tablespoons of water. You can also use oil if you want to keep the fat in there, but water also works just fine. And there you have it, our first Caesar dressing. Of course, I gave every dressing a taste and I thought this one tasted great, okay? Next up is the cashew version. I soaked these cashews just for a couple of hours. Here I am blended up with some water until I got this creamy consistency. Now let's add the rest of our seasoning in. We're gonna use about a fourth a cup of nutritional yeast. Then we're gonna follow that by some more of that good old ripe lemon juice, about one to two tablespoons. Same thing with the garlic, about two tablespoons of pressed garlic and hit the capers. Listen, you need capers for every single one of these. Y'all see, I got more comfortable with the two tablespoons of capers. We just dumping these bad boys right on in. Some more Dijon mustard, same teaspoon, same salt and pepper. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna mix that up. This was way too thick. So again, I'm gonna add some water to thin it out. Again, I gave all these a taste test, but it was no point of y'all watching me chew. <laughs> so we'll do that review at the end. Now is our final mayo version. We're starting with a fourth of a cup of mayo, garlic powder, mustard, capers. Y'all know the drill by now, okay? Same measurements as usual, salt and pepper. I didn't show it here, but I also added the lemon juice as well. I don't know what happened. Maybe I forgot to hit record. And now we are ready to assemble our salad and taste all three of the dressings. All right, we can't have a Caesar salad without our romaine lettuce. I am going to, um, I 
after I chop it, I do have to wash it though. It's always, I mean, guaranteed a fly underneath one of these leaves. So always, if you don't wash nothing else, please wash this lettuce. Okay, amen. Can't have a Caesar salad without croutons. Of course, you can make these yourself by just making some bread. But I already had these, just a couple. Okay, y'all, I wrote every single, y'all can't read that, my chicken scratch, but this is the one with the cashews. I have to try them again, y'all. I don't remember which one I like best. I don't. The cashews are the most full only because we use the whole cup. Don't get it twisted. These only use a half a cup. So this is a tahini one, the mayo, and of course we have the cashews. So I'm just gonna, ooh, that almost fell. I would have been so sad. Oh my gosh. I gotta retaste test all of them. I'm so like, oh, okay. Let's do the tahini first. I'm just gonna do it in the order we did it. Okay, let's get into it. Tahini one. If so, umami and earthy. Mmm. Okay, flipping it over. This is the mayo one. Right? Yeah. This is mayo. Okay. It's a lemon for me. Mmm. Not as earthy, but still delicious. All right, I gotta get a new one. I'm messing up my little stuffing shell. Look at this. This is a good one to stuff, too, but it's ugly. <laughs> okay. And then the cashews. Y'all, I'm eating salad this week. I love Caesar salad. The cashews we have the most of, and it's my least. It's not nasty. Oh, uh, baby, let me flip it over and dip the other side. It ain't nasty. It's just my least favorite. I'm not exactly sure why. I love cashews. I think it's the fact that I can taste the cashew. And the other ones are just like a, oh, what's in here? Ooh, what's this made of? So I, I don't hate it. Because we have so much, though, I am going to pour the one with cashews into the salad. And then I can drizzle it with the other flavors. Just work with me, though. We're going to use this one. So it's my least, not nasty, but it's my least favorite. But it's still good. And I'll have these to drizzle on the top if I want to. So I'm gonna put these away and then we'll be we're gonna tilt the camera back. Y'all know the drill. We're gonna, we gonna film. What are we here for? All right. Ooh, I'm gonna tell you it's thick. That's probably enough. That's probably enough. I'm gonna add in some of our salmon here. Papaya. <laughs> and we're gonna add some of our parmesan. Let's mix it on up. Oh, mm -mm, crouton, get back in there, girl. Okay, bim, our little Caesar salad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. And the papaya gives, um, a, almost died. Oh, the papaya gives a little sweetness again. I don't, re I don't recommend getting it that um, firm or unripe. I don't know the word for that. What, what's the word for when it's not ripe? Get it a little riper <laughs> than what I got. Mm. It's good though. I'm full from trying stuff. I ain't gonna hold you. Mayo is fat, cashews is fat. It's tahini fat. It's sesame seeds, so it should be fat. Yep, bunch of fat. All right, let's attempt to uh, stuff these shell. Otherwise, I'm gonna rename this recipe to just Caesar salad. Cause how y'all gonna know? Cause how y'all gonna know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna change this recipe, y'all. It's just ugly. It's too ugly. Y'all know I'm not good at plating. This is ugly. Um, I'll leave it in here just so y'all saw that I tried to make pasta stuffed shells, but we gonna retitle this Caesar dressing three ways. Or pro we gonna retitle. We gonna retitle it. But since I did already stuff these shells, I do want to just, you know, try it out. Try try it out, okay? This looks crazy. So I'm taking the mayo one, and we're going to drizzle that on top. It's thick, so it don't really drizzle. Should have tried to be creative. Everyone wants to be so creative. And then add some more Parmesan on top of there. Mmm. That is so good. It's just ugly. Tastes delicious. Oh. Oh. One hour later. Hey, boo. Just wanted to let you know that I'm 
want to say thank you for the salad. It was delicious. And I said, I said, come on, Salada Container. You you better be have the salad in a Salada Container. Yes, I loved it. But thank you. It was it was really, really good. Your Caesar dressing was, was excellent. Great job. Okay, so that was my old roommate. I gave her a salad. I actually gave her the first salad. I really wanted to see if she liked it because that was the cashew salad dressing I gave her. So she liked that. I got to let her have this one too if I share tomorrow. If I share tomorrow. But all right, y'all. I got to go. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.